running a town was so complicated and that it involved so many people. What if I told you that all this can be replaced by a machine? You mean in the future, right? Nope. Today, more and more jobs are carried out by machines. Kids, meet the Primex Binclair X80, faster and smarter than 10 civil servants. Whoa! Wow. So this is the new innovative top secret project you've been working on? Yep. This controls everything in town. Traffic lights, sprinklers, even the park's merry-go-round. At least it will, when it goes online at noon. Not again. Let me sharpen that for you. That thing's never worked right. Uh, what's not working right? Hey there! Kids, this is Rudy. He's been working here longer than anyone can remember. I've told you about my daughter, Mona. Oh, sure, lots of times. The one who always says there's more to things than meets the eye, right? There's nothing Rudy can't fix. I, I, I don't know how he does it. I'm just a guy with a mop bucket, that's all. Uh, where were we? Uh, oh, yeah. Uh, see, this controls the school sprinklers. <laughs> you guys! Didn't I tell you Rudy could fix anything? It wasn't him. It was this thing. It has robotic arms or something. Oh, well, that, that's just a rusty old mop bucket, Mona. Oh, I'm gonna be late for my meeting with the mayor. Uh, come with me, kids. You can wait in the lunchroom. Soda. It's the only pop I drink. Please direct all refill requests to the office manager, room 12B. Hi, we'd like three cans of Von Creep soda, please. Ah, refreshing. Just fill out these forms and take them to the requisitions office. These forms are for non-consumables. You need Annex SP3 for food products. Go to vending services downstairs. Everyone knows vending services isn't the same as service vendors. Two floors down. Wrong department. An XF. Sorry, gone for the day. Wrong department. Wrong department. Wrong department. <laughs> Done. In six to eight weeks. But we wanted Von Creep Soda today. Then you should have filed. <laughs> Six to eight weeks ago. Hey, kids. All those stairs for nothing. I never thought spending money could be so complicated. Well, I wish I could help you. But they're letting me go early and I have so much left to do. You're taking the day off? Today and every day after that. I've been put on forced retirement starting at noon exactly. But who's going to do your work? That big computer upstairs is supposed to. An hour to go and things still need my attention. Tell your dad it was fun working with him. Poor Rudy. They're replacing his mop bucket with a bit bucket. I don't remember coming this way. I think we're lost. Let's ask Rudy. He must be in here. It's just the broom closet. <laughs> Children found you out. Now, let's see what our friend the clerk filed away in his trash can. Hi, this is ridiculous. The traffic light in Main and Elm has been out for a week. Let me see. Huh? Now, this needs a little fixing. Hey, there's Main Street. You can see the whole town. Let me see. I wonder what else Rudy does around here. Why well, complicate things when good old ingenuity will do the trick? Yeah. <laughs> there we go. 
Red light, yellow, green, and red light again. Not again, Rover. Well, I think you're about ready for retirement as well. So that's how traffic lights work. Let's see. Did you see that robot malfunction? I thought it was cool. Hey, look. That traffic light's really working now. Thanks to Rudy. We can't let the mayor retire him. Come on. And then he fixed the traffic light. If he retires, the entire town will stop working. Rudy's earned his retirement, Mona. Now he can relax and let the Primex Ben Claire do it all. Ahem. Thank you. Let it be known that I embraced this project from the start. And I thank this man for my... Uh, our... <laughs> success. It's now noon. Time for our town to leave the Dark Ages and enter the new millennium. Remember this moment in the next elections. Oh, what? Oh, my. Oh. Uh, uh, nothing to worry about. I'll have it fixed right away. Look, we've got to get Rudy back before my dad's forced to retire next. We found you. Kids, you should get home. Everything seems to be breaking down. It's dangerous. That's because you're not there to keep everything running smoothly. You have to come back to City Hall. Mona, if City Hall wants me back, they'll have to ask personally. So long. Okay, let's split up. We better try to fill in for Rudy. You get my dad to get the mayor to give Rudy his job back. Uh, sure, Mona. Couldn't we just take the stairs or something? Hey! Wait for me! Okay, first the fountain. Eeny, meeny, miny, mo! Hey, it's working! Really? How about the school clock? Yes! This is easier than I thought. Uh, better reverse that switch. I haven't touched anything else. Then who's causing the trouble? Rover. It's malfunctioning again. I'll try to stop it before it's too late. Yeah! Are you there? Is everything okay? Um, well, let's just say I found the source of our problems. How are the negotiations going? I think I'm definitely getting somewhere over and out. So, do you think the mayor would hire Rudy back if we asked nicely? Considering his promise to cut the employee budget, I think there's about one chance in a trillion. Aha! So you're saying there's a definite possibility then? <laughs> You better catch Rover quick. The electricity is out. I've got you now. There's no way out. <coughs> hi -ya! Yeah! Giddy up! I've got this bucket of boats right where I want. Yikes! What are you doing? It's chaos up there. I thought you were tired. I'm just here to make sure that you don't hurt yourself or my rover. Well, I think I'm getting the hang of this. No, not that one. It's too dangerous. Then why don't you help us? If they want me back, the mayor himself will have to ask. Not after all he's invested in the Primex Binkler X80. It never sleeps or eats, and they can always get replacement parts. Oh, sure. As long as they fill out a zillion forms. Hey, that's it! Zatman, come in! You want me to do what? Okay, but I don't know how that'll help. 
What was that? Well, here's the problem. It must have been this defective boar that was causing all the trouble. <laughs> you see, Charlie, perseverance pays off. Yes, sir. This is a valuable lesson. So the mayor told the press a faulty circuit was causing the chaos, and it'll be fixed as soon as possible. Meanwhile, Rudy has his job back, and things are running as smoothly as ever. But why hand in the order form yourself? When they receive the spare part, we'll be right back where we started. That gives us approximately six to eight weeks. If the form ever gets sent out. Hold on, someone left this for you. The small token of their appreciation, whatever that means. Von Creep Soda, all right. Hurry up, Dad. Faye's gonna be at the fence in 10 minutes. Well, we're on our way now. We should be there very soon. Fang will just have to get his nails clipped some other time. This traffic is getting worse every day. Wherever things are moving, WKRJ will be there. I am now flying over the town. It's gridlock city as far as the eye can see. Traffic's crawling at a snail's pace, and Mayor Rosenbaum has called an emergency meeting at Town Hall tonight. The next item on the agenda is a request from an anonymous resident to have Royal Park renamed Bella Lugosi Park. Uh, again. All in favor? Six votes. The motion does not pass. Six votes? That's twice as many as last time. Looks like the volunteer work I did for the Lawn Bowling League paid off. Now, on to the traffic problem. I'd like to introduce Mr. Phineas, a developer with a lifetime of experience. Greetings, automobile lovers. The project I am proposing will change driving patterns in this town forever. Combining the most sophisticated techniques of road work and, in answer to the classical and economical double loop roundabout, the solution to your problem is this double loop overpass. This town will never be the same. I recognized it. Ankh, the ancient Egyptian symbol for eternal life. But why does that developer guy want to build an Ankh-shaped interchange? Uh, maybe he wants to make sure the roads last forever. No, there was something very suspicious about him. Fang! Come on, Fang. It's not that bad. Ah! Oh. I'll be with you in a minute, Mona. Just removing some bandages. It's such a relief to get the bandages off, isn't it, Ramses? Ah, oh, I feel like I haven't had you in my arms for centuries. They're there now. Don't let that common house cat bother you. Rather a high-strung creature, the hairless sphinx. Haven't seen one of them around here in ages. That's the construction site for the new traffic circle. And it's about time. Hmm. You said there's been some, uh, startling developments? 
I'm afraid so. I think Phineas may be some sort of ancient Egyptian king. He and that snobby sphinx of his were probably mummified thousands of years ago. I bet that cat's fur fell off after being embalmed for so long. Gross! <laughs> gonna do? Take a look around and try to find some proof. You don't exist for thousands of years without leaving some traces. Tell those slaves to stop loafing. But great Phineas, we'll break their backs before we can finish. I don't care if we have to enslave this entire village. My eternal resting place must be completed. So that's it. A temple of immortality. That's why he designed it as a symbol of eternal life. Ah! We've got to warn the mayor. The only highway Phineas is building leads straight to the afterlife. Once the mayor hears about this, he'll take care of Phineas. Mr. Phineas, my city is at your disposal. I'll do all I can to ensure your journey to the afterlife is a pleasant one, great pharaoh. You won't regret it. My temple will make the pyramids at Giza look like toys. About that interview, Mr. Phineas, WKRJ would like to do a live broadcast from the construction site. Come by tomorrow. I can't talk about the details of the plans, but I can talk about myself. We'll have to get our hands on those scrolls. But first we need to brush up on our ancient Egyptian history. The pyramids are visited by millions of tourists every year. Maybe that's why Phineas needs to find a new eternal resting place. That looks important. This says that in order to enter the afterlife, your heart has to be as light and pure as a feather. That Phineas has been a peach of a sponsor. The Long Bowling Club is getting a whole new lease on life thanks to his generosity. Long live Pharaoh Phineas! He's enslaving everyone. Come on! Do I have to wear this dress, Mona Patra? I told you, Zap and Cayman. It's a ceremonial robe. His sphinx is standing guard. We'll have to find a way to... Wow. Wow. <gasps> Maybe you shouldn't have clipped Fang's nails, Mona Patra. <laughs> I bet the scrolls are in here. If I'm reading this correctly, the temple will end up covering half the town. Even the school? Sorry. Did someone scare you, Ramses? Phineas! Poor dear Kitty. Look at this stuff. This must be the burial chamber. Stop, you grave robbers! My precious papyrus! No! Look, there's light! If I can't have those plans, they must be destroyed. Ah! <laughs> Catch, Zap and Cayman! <laughs> Tourists have taken over my homeland. I must rebuild my eternal resting place. 
Why don't you pick on someone your own age? Ha-ha! <laughs> huh? Not so fast, Pharaoh. First, you have to face the Feather of Truth. <laughs> A feather is useless against my power. No! No! <laughs> no! No! <laughs> Holy cow, what a scoop! In a startling development, WKRJ has obtained proof that the new interchange would pave over historic Royal Park. That's where our lawn bowling league plays. Come on! It's an extraordinary scene. Protesters are descending on the construction site. As annoyed as people have been by the traffic problem, it seems they're not willing to sacrifice beloved Royal Park to fix it. Save our park! Save our park! You'll never get away, Phineas! Save our park! Save our park! Ladies and gentlemen, the people have spoken. There will be no interchange. The budget is... Wow! <laughs> <sighs> All in favor of creating environmentally friendly bike paths instead of a traffic circle? Done. Now, in recognition of an anonymous citizen's efforts to save Royal Park, it will hereby be renamed Bella Lugosi Park. Yay! Yay! For one week. Thank <laughs> you.